Well, I think when most men are going out to go and practice cold approaching, especially if it's their early sort of days with experiencing it, um, most guys will go out with this, I think, totally incorrect mindset. They actually probably make life worse or more difficult for themselves simply because of a lot of the negativity that they're holding on to rather than being a bit more either optimistic or a bit more maybe reassuring for themselves to just give themselves that moral support whilst they're going out and approach which sounds like a very overcomplicated way of explaining that guys need to learn to be their own best friend and actually accommodate how they're feeling in that moment and just be really more supportive of themselves. So I want to break down what the negative beliefs are or thoughts are that I've noticed with guys when they are going out to cold approach and really what this needs to be replaced with. Because if you're going to go out, if you're going to do something that is so against the social norm, so against maybe what you are used to doing, especially if you're an unsociable guy, or maybe you are a sociable guy, but you're still doing something that you have never really done before or you're going to have a lot of doubts or concerns of like, is it going to go well? Is this going to happen? Is that? Then I want to give you what I believe is really the true mindset that any guy going out to practice their social skills should be holding on to if they want to work on this area of their lives. So if you don't know of me already, my name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy, and I've worked in the dating industry behind the scenes for the last 16 years, and only just recently I've decided to kind of step out of the shadows and move more into the limelight to actually help you guys in the world of dating. Now I've worked with easily like 80 plus dating coaches, all either based in London or have passed through London. So I have seen thousands or 10,000s of approaches because I've filmed them or I've worked privately with clients to actually help them on their anxiety and building their confidence by showing them what they look like on camera. And so many dating coaches have certainly improved their results because of what they've been able to see of themselves and become aware of the bad habits or particularly limiting beliefs or thought processes that they've had when they've gone out to approach. So that's where I think also I want to share that with you uh, guys in this video because this is certainly going to just, I think... I think I'm going to use the word lubricate the process that bit easier with you overcoming, you know, your anxiety and just getting better results faster when you're going out to a uh, to cold approach. So if that does sound uh, like really good advice for you, and I'd like to think that I put out a lot of really good uh, advice and feedback that's going to help you to also get your results even faster in dating, then don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video and also check out a lot of my other videos to help you with maybe your limiting beliefs in dating or how you can just get better at cold approach fast. So I think one of the first problems that I've seen guys have when they're going out, again, early days for them, is that they feel like things are gonna go terribly wrong and then they create this self-fulfilling prophecy of things going wrong. Now I've done a video on this already, so I won't explain it too much, but when you're holding on to a negative thought of believing that if you're going out to approach, it's gonna be a terrible day or, or your conversations aren't gonna go well or no one's gonna stop for you and so on, then you're gonna go in with this sort of negativity or negative vibe that people are going to feel. They're not gonna feel this optimism or this excitement that you might be having when you're going to meet someone. It's like if you go into a social event and no one there wants to really speak to each other and you're gonna feel it in the atmosphere. And so, that because of that, no one's going to want to speak to each other. And this same thing can be applied in cold approaching. If you have the attitude of this isn't going to go well in your approaches, 
then the moment you speak to people, you're also not going to have that kind of energy or vibe again where you're going to give that impression off that you want it to go well. So that might mean then that your facial expressions might then be a bit sadder or your energy in how you're speaking or how you articulate yourself is probably going to be a lot less energetic or optimistic and you'll probably maybe feel or sound more deflated as you're doing it and no one really wants to speak to a Debbie Downer either so of course then when you do stop people they're gonna just sort of like look at you like yeah why is this sort of negative person speaking to me or uh or a lot of women because they've got that sixth sense on on vibe that they're not gonna want that negative energy on themselves either so they will walk away they'll ignore you you know Everything that you can think of that counts as rejection is what you are most likely going to experience. So by going in with a negative mindset, you are going to create potentially this cycle of it happening. And when you are then having these experiences, it's only going to reinforce that this isn't working for you. And that's usually where then you've got guys old or new to doing cold approaching then say that oh this doesn't work or like oh i've just had a really shitty day this yeah maybe maybe i should give up there's no point trying this and it just sort of spirals into this abyss when at the end of the day it only takes one really really good approach or one really great result with someone that you are highly attracted to or maybe is even your type for you to then suddenly go like, this is amazing. This is so good. I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. So definitely as uh, as a first thing that I've noticed, just that negative spiral of creating this self-fulfilling prophecy of this isn't going to go well does tend to be one of the things that does stop guys getting good results. And a second thing, which I'm going to also just bear in mind now, because I don't think I actually mentioned it before, is that after all these negative points that I'm referencing, I want to certainly give you what actually is the flip side of them. And then what does that mindset overall look like? What should be the mission statement that you as a guy should be saying to yourself, certainly when you're going out to approach? But okay, all right, that, that's a digression anyway. So, so really like the second thing that I see guys certainly make the mistake with is that they don't show enough empathy to themselves in the situation and so they are just incredibly hard on themselves for guys that are new to going out and doing something like this don't expect that you're going to get fantastic results literally on that first approach that you're doing you've got to give yourself the benefit of the doubt and go this is a whole new thing to me. Like with any new skill in life, you're not going to be amazing on that first day. It's the same even if you were to start a new job. You're not going to be amazing on the first day as you are learning the ropes on how to do things. And so you have to show empathy for yourself and be like, hey, look, this is a really challenging skill if I also let it be a challenging skill and I've got to be a bit more open to it and a bit more optimistic, I can't be too hard on myself with this. And for guys then that I, I suppose that are too hard on themselves, it then sort of feeds back into that first point of then creating that negative cycle of things going potentially wrong for them. So when you're a bit more optimistic and understanding that, hey, look, this is something that I've never done before. Um, I have to kind of accept that, yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting like rejections here. And and even then, I like I say rejections loosely, guys don't really get rejections. They're not rejecting necessarily you. They are just rejecting that moment. And also when you're a complete stranger and you're stopping a complete stranger, and this is actually this is where, where empathy does really need to be shown, you need to understand that you don't know what these women are going through or have been through in the past to actually 
be turning you down? Like, what is their justifiable reason for saying no to you? Now, some may have actually had bad experiences with guys who have approached them in the past. Some women as well, you have to understand that they've got busy lives. They're probably also in relationships. They're probably also married. They've got boyfriends or whatever. You might also just not be their type. Um, they might have a lot on their plate in regards to work. And so, and, and also bear in mind that there's that possibility that you've also caught them on the time of the month and they are just not in the greatest of moods. So speaking to them, if you've caught them on a bad day, is also going to potentially mean that you will get rejected or you'll get told no or you'll get ignored and they won't say anything to you. So don't take stuff to heart because it's not necessarily your fault and it's also not necessarily her fault either. So be more empathetic to the situation that you don't know what is going on in their lives and if you're new to doing cold approaching and even for those that have been doing it for a while who are a bit more intermediate or advanced like you've got to be more understanding that you know when you're going out no one has to say yes to you you don't have to get great results there's nothing in the cards or in the stars even that says that you have to be getting fantastic results when you go out and you do cold approaching as i've referenced it to a lot of dating coaches and even with guys like it's a lottery when you go out on the street to speak to women you know guys I th in fact i think like a lot of the normal guys um who aren't dating coaches when i when i say normal they don't think about also what like the dating coaches go through when we go out and we do like a day's filming together. Like I've had clients um, in the past where, you know, they've hired me to do filming with them for like eight hours straight and we've gotten absolutely nothing. You know, whether it's been like the quality of women that they wanted to speak to outdoors or it's just been constant rejections or no's from them or they've been ignored and then the they're not the women's type and stuff but then i've also had days where a client or a coach has hired me for like two hours or three hours and they've done nothing but just being able to ricochet from women to women or woman to woman and they've just had great results they had phone numbers instant dates you name it just constantly so there's nothing, you know, you can't, you can't look at the situation and be like, oh, if I go out and I'm going to do 10 hours today, oh, I'm going to get great results. You know, you can't be that hard on yourself in thinking that that's how things play out. It is a lottery when you're going out to practice cold approaching, or even if you're just actively doing it. Uh, you know, one of the things that I firmly believe that guys should be doing you know, with cold approaching, which certainly does help with shaping this much more appropriate mindset that I will explain, is when you can incorporate doing cold approaching in just to your in just your normal everyday life. Like when you're going to the gym, you're going to work, you're going to go and see friends and family or or hobbies and stuff, and then you see someone that you're attracted to and you go over and speak to them because you're actually a lot less reliant on the outcome uh, in that, which is what the, the third point will be. So, you know, just be a bit more empathetic to how things play out for you. Don't be so hard on yourself and think like, oh, when I go out, I have to get great results or like that says a lot about me if I don't get results, you know, what, like why, why pursue that mindset? You know, if it's things that you feel like need changing in regards to how you look to a woman, so like first impressions most certainly matter, then consider like how you groom yourself, consider like your fashion, consider how you feel energy wise, like with your nutrition and your lifestyle and your fitness. But bear in mind though, like when you're speaking to a complete stranger, you have no control over how they think or feel. And you know, maybe there's even like a, some stoicism that you can throw in there, which I, I hugely advocate, but you've got to be much easier on yourself. Be more empathetic to your situation and don't be so hard on yourself and encourage 
this optimism that, you know, whatever happens is going to happen, you know, when you're going out to approach, which, like I say, kind of leads on to uh, the, the third negative thing that I usually do see with guys is that they are t- way too outcome dependent. And although I really did sort of say it before, like you need to be a lot more um, easygoing on yourself. Like don't think that when you leave the house, it says stuff about you if you aren't getting phone numbers or going on dates. You know, when guys, um, if if you're new to this, first of all, so I actually, you know, I'll split this into two. If you're a guy who's very new to cold approaching, then going out and setting the bar where it like, like, oh, when I, when my first approach, I, I have to get a phone number. Why? Like, why? Why does that matter if you get a phone number? Right now, you're going through the phase of just developing your confidence with your social skills. Develop, In fact, I'd even dub it as social confidence. You are developing your social confidence. That is your first phase. That's all you need to be worrying about. And when you get more complacent with that, then you can move into the other phases of developing your sexual confidence and your sexual energy, which will just naturally come when you are spending more time around women, going on dates and likely sleeping with women as well. So don't put that added pressure on yourself. Lower the bar. If you're going to go out and it's your first time, go out with the expectation or mindset of like, you know what, let's just see what happens. Or I'm just going out just to be sociable. You know what? I'm not worried about getting a number. I want to just focus on having good conversations. You know, that's the sort of like bar, like really, really minimal, like really low. That's what you want to be setting. And for guys who are more established, who are more advanced and have been more used to doing cold approaching because they've got more more reps in, they've got the practice in, which doesn't necessarily mean you're great. It just means that you're going to be a bit more desensitized to cold approaching. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you haven't got any bad habits or bad mannerisms in place because I've known guys over the years who they practice 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 but they have developed some really really bad habits and so then they have to spend a lot of their time like training themselves out of those bad habits to then actually get good results with women so guys who are are even more established and have been doing it for a while even again I would say you've got to lower the bar don't be thinking like oh, I've got to go out, I have to get like three numbers or I have to do 30 approaches today. Don't worry about it. Like be focusing more on just having a good time with people. Oh, excuse me. Um, Be focusing on having a good time with people and interacting and just socializing and meeting people that you want to be connecting with and, you know, filter those people. Don't just be collecting numbers and stuff because then the the next sort of phase that that guys then uh, uh, struggle with on their outcome dependency is like when then they start let's say they get like 20 numbers in a day and then only two of them actually materialize into uh, actual conversations and texts and then even a date maybe and they're heartbroken that they've got such a low conversion and it's just simply because they've been taking numbers from people that they really don't like or that they just got the number for the sake of getting the number so when you've got even an outcome dependency and you kind of like overset the goal um or or your goals just aren't really focusing on the right kind of thing that's also what can cause a lot of negativity and spiraling and self-fulfilling prophecies that can play out because your priorities are just focusing on the wrong kind of things. So you have to reprioritize, you know, when you're going out to cold approach, what are you specifically looking to get results wise? And even once you've decided that, what would be kind of like re- maybe reverse engineering? Like, well, what's what's the minimal thing that I would be happy with? If I were to just be going out and giving compliments to women today and maybe even just having some good conversations, you know, is that enough? And most of the time, in fact, I'd even probably say like 99% of the time, that's actually what it should be. Just going out, having fun and learning just to kind of like sit in the comfort 
of socializing. So what's the solution then to all of that? Well, there's there's three points and I've kind of already emphasized and in fact, I will read them specifically and then I'll give you like, well, what should the mindset be when you're going out to um, to approach? So point number one is that you need do need to set a correct expectation for the level that you're at. So if you're a beginner, then don't put too much emphasis on worrying about getting a phone number, going on dates or sleeping with women or trying to get a girlfriend or trying to get married and already trying to have like five children. Don't worry about that. Consider just going out of the house, just trying to socialize, just trying to sit again in that comfort of being more socially confident and get used to that momentum with that. Very, very minimal stuff. Second solution would be to also remove your outcome dependency. So I kind of mentioned it before about, you know, relying on results. Don't, because you don't know what you're going to expect when you're putting yourself out there. And I love chaos theory. You know, when you're throwing yourself into a situation that is so new to you, or even an established one or one that you've done for a while that is still going to have a lottery of an experience of results don't worry about an outcome just go out and enjoy speaking to people just embrace it see what happens see what kind of conversations you come up with you don't know who you're going to meet you might actually meet your most perfect woman but to go out thinking like the first woman I speak to is going to potentially be my future wife is absurd. And I've met guys who actually think and speak like that. It is way too much. And the third one is really don't take your failures to heart. You can't you can't predict what is going on in anyone's mind when you speak to them if you've never met them before. They could be having a great day. They could be having the worst day possible. So don't let that be a reflection on yourself. Unless you're being really nasty to someone or really offensive or rude, then you there is no way that you can predict how someone is going to be reacting to you. They are still a complete stranger and so are you. So don't read into a situation too much. So what then combining like these particular points, what does that outcome thought or mindset look like that you should be carrying with you when you go and leave the house? Well, let's put it like this. If you've just walked out your house, you need to be like, you know what? Today is going to be a really, really good day. I don't know what I'm going to expect and I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to enjoy socializing with people and whatever happens, happens. And when I do speak to people, if I meet someone that I really like, that I'm attracted to, one, I definitely want to go over and speak to them. But two, I will only ask for the phone number if I can feel that there is a connection there. And when there is, I know that that person will want to go out with me too. And if they don't, so be it. It's absolutely fine. I will wish them a great day. I will wish them the best. And if they're in a relationship, I will tell them that their partner is incredibly lucky to have them. And that is it. That's really the mindset you want to be holding on to when you're going out. Just being optimistic, being very understanding of the situation and where you are at mentally as well in the process of getting good at cold approaching and just be okay with it that you will go out you will speak to people and whatever happens happens it's a very stoic way of thinking and in fact actually I'd say it's also quite liberating as well just like not putting any outcome on it just enjoying the process and just also learning or to enjoy that development that you're going to be going through as you're doing it as well. And when that amazing person does come along, bear in mind that you can, it could be like if you're going out for, for weeks to practice and it could be maybe a couple of hours a day, maybe you only speak to one person here or five people on another day, that eventually you are though going to be speeding up that process of meeting someone who is going to be amazingly right for you 
and all of these reps that you've got in has only built you up to be prepared for that moment. And when that happens, you're also not going to be outcome dependent on it. And that's actually where things are going to go well for you because she's not going to feel that sort of like neediness or like drive for like, like oh, I, he, he, he has to get a phone number from me. And that's only going to build even more attraction between the two of you. And you will find then dating is effortless simply because you have let go of the things that you just don't need to be holding on to or worrying about. So I hope this has been a, a really, really useful video for you. Uh, certainly let me know in the comments below uh, your thoughts on this. But, you know, the main point that I want to get across is that you just don't need to be worrying about things that are out of your control. Just focus on your development. And I can assure you, you will do really, really well with cold approaching. So if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And of course, look forward to more videos coming from me in the future too.